Hi everyone, I'm Andrew and I'm the CEO of Skiff. We're a privacy first, end-to-end encrypted workspace with mail, calendar, pages, and drive products for secure collaboration and end-to-end encrypted communication. Today we're doing a really quick tutorial on how to use code blocks in Skiff. If you do any technical work, engineering work, or you just like the way code blocks look, we'll show you a few tricks on how to use them efficiently and to their fullest inside our Skiff Pages product. First, we'll start with a quick shortcut. To create a code block, type three backticks in a row. Backticks are the same key as the tilde key on your computer. Then you'll be immediately presented with a plain text code block. It'll have no language selected from the start and feel free to just enter text as you wish. As you can see, I've got a short section of the skiff mail readme from our GitHub repo here. Instead, if you choose to actually enter code, you can select a language from over 20 options, including JavaScript, C, C++, Python, Rust, and more. We also recently added Solidity as an option for your language. From there, you'll be given syntax highlighting, indentation, which you can use to indent or unindent multiple lines of code, as well as some basic autocomplete features, for example, a function definition function you'll also be able to add comments on code just like you're doing a code review because skiff documents are fully collaborative your other collaborators will be able to see and respond to these comments Feel free to add emojis as you wish. Finally, code blocks are a great way to display functional information, like JSON files. Here we've got an excerpt from the React package.json file, and we can add comments or just display all of the dependencies, the license, and other information. Thanks so much for joining us today. Please subscribe, and if you have any questions on how to use code blocks, if you have feature requests, or if we can help you out with any usage of Skiff for your team, please write to us at hello at skiff.org. If you're still watching, we've also got two more small hidden features inside CodeBlocks, including the ability to toggle line numbers and to copy the entire content of the CodeBlock, which you could then paste anywhere you like.